So if you love to go camping, if you love to hike or walk deep into the woods, if you like to like mountain climb or, you know, just go into the woods and do research. Well, you could find yourself in a survival situation. Now, hopefully not, but hey, it could happen. And when you're in a survival situation, you're going to want some help. help. Well, in today's 21st century, you can receive that help with tech gadgets. So I'm gonna review some tech gadgets, guys, and some of these gadgets you've probably seen before, some of them probably not, but I'm gonna review these gadgets that's gonna really help you out if you find yourself in a survival scenario. All right, so you find yourself in a crisis or you need some help, these gadgets is really gonna help. They're really gonna help, guys. Mark Franks here, let's go ahead and get started. So for the first tech survival gadget, it's gonna be the OmniLight flashlight. This is a regular flashlight, but it's a little different. First of all, it's military grade. It has aluminum alloy, so it's really tough, really hard. Guys, you can really take this through the ringer. If you get in a fight with an animal or something, you can probably knock them out with this. So it's actually pretty robust. The thing I like about this light, it is bright. And I mean bright, I mean very bright, very bright. Now, on Amazon, it claims that's 99,000 lumens. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not accurate. Maybe 9,000 lumens, if that. But it is very bright, guys. You can zoom in and zoom out. So, I mean, if you're lost in the woods, it's gonna lighten whatever you're looking. It's gonna light up. This is one of the brightest rechargeable lights that I've seen. Now, speaking of rechargeable, it has a rechargeable battery at 10,000 milliamp hours. That is a large capacity for this. This thing is, I would say about, maybe about eight or nine inches, eight or nine inches, so that's just a large capacity battery. So if you're running this thing on full brightness at 100%, it can last up to eight hours at full brightness. So, but if it's on low brightness, it can last up to 24 hours. And low brightness is still pretty bright. I mean, it's not as bright, but you can still see. So you can have this thing last up to an entire day. Now, obviously nighttime is gonna be around 12 hours but you can feel assured that if you get lost in the woods you pull this out it's gonna last on one charge all right so this is actually pretty cool now it's waterproof if it falls in the water you're you're good to go i like that it has a little strap on there you can you can connect it to your backpack or you can put it inside your backpack or you connect it to your, your your belt loop and it has usb charging so usb is pretty fast now on amazon i didn't say how how long it takes to charge this i'm gonna guess maybe three to four hours to charge this. Now USB is fast, but it's just, I guess it just kind of depends on your charger that you're using. I don't know the full capacity charge that you can put on this, but I'll use it some more. And if I find that out, I'll put it down in the comments below. All right, but it does have five different light modes. It has high, medium, and low, and then it has an SOS light and a, there's a really quick, there's a rapid light and it has another rather slower rapid light. All right, so again, like I said, I'll point it this way. High can last up to eight hours. I have it on high, but I have it pointed that way. It can last up to eight hours. And you go to the lowest setting, high, medium, low. This setting right here, which is pretty, it's still pretty bright. This setting can last up to 24 hours. So if you're in a survival situation, that, this is the perfect survival tech gadget for you guys. It's nice flash, there's nice flashlight here. So let's go to the second one. Now the second tech survival gadget is gonna be a lantern. Now, unlike a flashlight, a flashlight is, is directing light towards something. This just kind of uh, does like an omni direction on all sides. So you turn it on, it's pretty bright. It's like 3,200 lumens. So it's not bad. It has three different light modes. It has bright, medium, low, and then it has an SOS. And the SOS is red, all right? So that's pretty cool. And then it will has it has a flashing, all right? So it's, it's flashing. So that's cool, guys. Uh, I do like that it has this little thing that comes up on it. I think it's you, something you just put on a branch or something or just a little holder here. You put it on the branch. It's a 4,800 milliamp hour battery. So the battery capacity is pretty good here. One customer said it's gonna last probably about on the brightest setting, probably four hours and six hours on the lowest setting. 
All right, so that's actually not bad at all if you're in a survival situation or even if you're going camping or anything like that, just to kind of take this with you. You can use this hook here to put on the top of your tent or something like that. So I do like that and I do like also that it's omnidirectional. So that's pretty cool. Now, as far as also the capacity, it'll tell you your battery capacity here. So that's cool, you'll know when it's close to dying. And the 4,800 milliamp hour uh, capacity, you can also charge your phone too. So it has here, and I believe this takes micro USB here, but you can also uh, use this USB, a regular USB to charge your phone as well. So I found that uh, pretty cool. So this is a great uh, tech survival gadget that's gonna be very useful for you. So the next survival tech gadget is going to be a electric plasma lighter. So it's an electric plasma lighter. And this is actually pretty cool. So it's not like a normal lighter. You don't need any type of uh, fuel or, or any type of gas for it. It just uses electricity. So it uses as battery capacity. So basically it uses electricity going up to these electrodes here. And then when that spark of electricity comes, these electrodes fuse together and they create an arc. It's like this, you press this button, electricity is going to these electrodes and you have an arc right there. Now what's in that arc, you can put this in light up candles or you can light up papers or if you're in a survival situation, you can light up some leaves. Now this can work up to 300 times on one charge. So I think it takes about an hour and a half to charge, but after you charge it, it can work up to 300 times. So I press this button, it has that arc there. So you put something, now please don't put your fingers in there. There's, you know, it'll burn your fingers though, but it has electricity that goes up to these electrodes here. And then it creates an arc here. It almost kind of looks like a taser, but, but it creates that arc and you can put, you can light up candles or if you're in a survivor situation, you can go ahead and start a fire. All right, now I, I think, I don't know the entire shelf life of this, but this does last a long time. Basically, the company say it lasts a long time. So if you're in a survival situation, it's great to have one of these. So you don't have to go Flintstone on and try to make fires by rubbing six sticks together. All right, or try to find a match or something like that. You'll always have this and you can always just recharge it. This is a great little addition uh, to your survival bag. All right, and it's waterproof. So this plasma lighter here is extremely useful. All right, so the next tech survival uh, gadget here is going to be a power bank. So this is Anchor 737 power bank. I did a review on this probably about a couple weeks ago or uh, almost three weeks to a month ago. But this is a great addition. This is probably gonna be the most important gadget that you have. All right, so this is 85 watt hours. That's gonna be equivalent to about 24,000 milliamp hours. It can charge your phone up to about four or five times. It can charge your laptop, depending on the laptop you have, up, up to about 1.2 times, maybe 1.3 times. So all these other devices, it can really charge it up, guys. It gives you charge capacity. I like the LCD screen. I believe it may be OLED. It may be OLED, So, but it, it'll give you the charge capacity here. When you charge it, you can charge different things at once. You can you have a two USB ports and a USB 3.0 ports. So guys, this is gonna be a game changer when you're in a survival situation. Because now you can so you can charge all your devices. You can charge your lantern, you can charge your plasma lighter, you can charge the flashlight, you can charge all this if you're in a type of survival situation. But wait. One more thing here, if you're in a survival situation, uh, say hypothetically you're on an island or something and you're stuck, all right, and you use all your juice, well, you can use a solar panel to charge this. Now, this solar panel is a 100 watt solar panel and out of a USB, out of the USB charger that's inside here, I can get 65 watts that can go through this here, which will probably charge this in probably about maybe a, a little bit under two hours, maybe quicker than that. Uh, but maybe 1.3 hours, but this may be a little bit overkill, maybe a little bit bigger. I'll put a smaller one. Uh, I'll put a smaller one in the link in, in the description down below. Uh, but this is 100 watts and it's not bad. You know, it folds up, it's not bad, but I'll put maybe a 40 watt or a 50 watt where it, where it can fit in your backpack. I mean, it, it can be a little bit more portable. But once you have this solar panel, then you can create a cycle and you can charge this in the daytime and you can also use it at the same time that it's charging. And you can charge it in the daytime and make sure it's full. And then at night you can use it and you can recharge everything, every one of your survival gear. So this is a must have for your tech survival backpack or tech survival gear, guys. So a power bank, especially the Anchor 737 power bank, 
with two USB-C ports and one USB-A or USB 3.0 port. And one thing I also forgot to say, this uh, power bank is extremely fast, up to 140 watts of power and speed. So it is going quick. It's almost like a regular outlet, all right, but faster. So guys, this is a, a great device to have. Go ahead and add this to your bag. Now the next device is very simple. It's just a compass. So if you're lost and you don't have, you know, a compass handy, you know, you have one here. So on this device here. So you just go ahead and put it on your wrist like this. And it's simple, but effective. You know, if you're not used to trying to figure out where you are from looking at the sun, you know, the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. If you're not kind of familiar with like kind of pinpointing where the sun is, is as far as direction wise, you can use a compass here, guys, and then you can navigate that way. But this compass is also a little bit different, guys. It has a compass, but one, one thing I like about it is also a whistle. So that's actually cool. So if, you, if you're lost and you're in a survival situation, you can figure out where you're going, but you can also blow the whistle. You see somebody in the far, far off, you can just and blow a whistle and they can hear you. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. So that definitely made the list with my tech survival gadgets. So I'll put this down in the description below. Now I bought this in a bundle with some other survival gear that I got a couple years ago. And it says Supology, but I'm gonna link direct to the Life Straw. So it's the same type of device, but it's just a different name on here. But I'm gonna link and we're talking about the Life Straw. I'm gonna link to the Life Straw and that's what we're, we're talking about. But this is a very useful gadget to have. It's highly portable, it can fit in your pocket. Uh, it's pretty robust guys, it's very lightweight, but if you find yourself in a survival situation, this water purifier or water uh, filtration system here, it kills 99.999% of bacteria and parasites in that water. So this is going to be highly useful. Uh, you can use this up to a thousand gallons. So up to a thousand gallons and it has about a five year shelf life. So when you're going on camping trips, bring this with you. Are you going hiking? Are you going to do anything that's in the woods? Bring this with you. This is definitely a lifesaver. Definitely a lifesaver. So this is a great tech gadget to have. Now another tech survival gadget that many people sleep on is the Apple Watch. And this is the Apple Watch Ultra 2. And guys, I'm telling you, this is like the ultimate tech survival gadget. So let me tell you a little bit about this. The battery capacity on here, just normal use is 36 hours. So that's just normal use. Now you put this on low power mode, that's gonna be 72 hours. So if you're lost in the woods or something like that, you can switch this to low power mode and then you have three days of, of Apple Watch use. Now, if you have your power bank, you can also plug it in, but that, that's a long time for on an Apple Watch, guys. That's an extremely long time. Now you also have a button you can press here. I believe you can stick something in here as a siren and that siren can be heard from, uh, I think by maybe about 600 feet distance, maybe even longer than that. If I am wrong, I'll put that down in the description below. But you have a siren here that can be heard. Guys, you have a compass on here. You have a GPS, so you can use your GPS if you're lost. And on this one, it has a cellular signal, so you can just call if you're lost, if you're within cellular range. So that's also pretty good. It also has, if you're not in cellular range, it also has a backtrack uh, feature where it'll trace your steps. So you'll trace your steps. If you lost in the wood, it'll you trace your steps all the, all the way from where you started in the beginning, and then you can go right back to where you started. So that's actually pretty cool. And this is kind of like the, like I said, it's like the, the ultimate survival tech gadget. If you're in the water, it can go in the water for four, up to 40 meters. So you're good to go there. So if you find yourself in a survival situation, it's gonna be best to have an Apple Watch Ultra 2. Now I believe the Ultra 1 has many of the same features as the Ultra 2, and I'm not sure if the Apple Watch 9 series has the same features, I'm not sure. But this is a great device to have in survival situations. Now the last tech survival device that you may wanna consider, and this is gonna be optional, is a drone. Now this is a DJI Mini drone. I got this maybe, maybe two years ago. This is the Mini SC drone. I think I got this for about $200. Prices may be different now. I'll put the prices on the screen below. But this is actually a pretty good device. Now, if you find yourself in a survival situation, this thing is small, so it can fold up. Let me make sure I'm folding it up correctly. 
Look how small it is. This is my hand. This thing can fold up in your hand and you have, you have the controller down here that can also fold up. So these two components right here, these two things, they can fit in your backpack pretty easily. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're lost, you can go ahead and just uh, fly this, fly this over the trees and see what's going on, see where you're at. And then maybe you can get found. Now, if you're in a situation where you're lost for several days and you're constantly flying above the trees and seeing where you're going, you can also recharge it with this power bank. So, so with this power bank, you can stay out in the wilderness for a long time and, and be just okay. You know, as long as you have food and you have electricity here, you're pretty much good to go. But this is the last tech survival gadget, just carrying a drone, but this is optional. Guys, this is just a little bit extra. All right, so that's it. That's all the tech survival gadgets I had to review for today. And what I'll do is I'll throw all these products down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Also, if you guys have any questions, please leave all your questions down below as well, and I'll get to them in a timely fashion. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next video, but until then, you have a great day. <laughs>